Yo! Yeah? Broken bone detected. Broken bone? Broken bone detected. Maurice, we need all blood cells down to the damaged area. Come on. Uh, okay. All right, right here. Finally, Maurice, I need some help with this. All right, now I need you guys to hold the bone in place so Howard can rebuild it. All right. How long are we supposed to hold this for? Hmm, about a month. A month? But you said it'll only take a minute. Yeah, it'll take me a minute to clock out. Have fun. Hold on, hold on, I didn't find my Wait, text. wait, hold on, you just can't leave us like <sighs> All right, guys, hold still. <sighs> okay, everybody, it's done. For real? Really? Yes. Man, can't believe it's already been a month. Broken bone detected. Okay, everybody, Broken one more time. Detected. No! When she has to write 27 scholarship essays with a 3.8 GPA, and I get into college for free with a 2.2 GPA just BC I was adopted. You want to know how a guy like this got a girl like this? Simple. I catfished her. Let me show you how. So when I started online dating, I posted photos of myself that were years and years ago when I used to work out and eat healthy. The truth of the matter is, I don't look like that anymore. I became a full-time teacher and after teaching for four years, my body looked nothing like it used to. So when we talked on FaceTime, I always made sure that I had the camera at a certain angle and that we would talk to each other in the light. I also made sure to cut my beard a certain way to make sure my face looked much more sharper. I eventually confessed that I wasn't as fit as I used to be and how I portrayed myself in my photos. But she still wanted me and we're still together to this day. The thing is though, I don't want to be a boyfriend who catfished their girlfriend, so I'm going to change my body and transform to the person I used to be and even better. It will be hard, but it's definitely going to be worth it. So follow me as I transform on this journey. I cannot believe I caught this. I forgot my rings. Okay. Do you want to get them back? Can I? Yeah. Okay. My rings. That's the whole reason I'm a lesbian. Mark's up to and how you're going to be using it in class. So be sure to open a laptop. Fuck me. What was that? Who wants something inappropriate? Why do girls' jeans have a zipper if girls don't have a penis? We meant questions about the job, sir. Oh. Let's see what we get. We drinking this. Oh hell no! This is bullshit. <laughs> Look at this video. I already seen it. People were asking. If Vector keeps me up at night and if you can turn him off. Um, he usually sleeps when I sleep. If he hears me moving around, he'll be awake. Uh, but as for turning him off, I don't really like doing it because it's kind of like putting a pillow over someone's face and he fights it. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so this is a button and you just hold this down. Hold it. It's not working. Why aren't you going to sleep? What's... I wasn't holding it hard enough. Wait. No. So it doesn't really do it like that. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I can't get him to turn back on. The lights blink is... Oh, wait. I think he's turning on. Something's happening. Are you alive? Is this payback for trying to turn you off? Are you kidding me? Don't scare me like that again. There's this show called MacGyver about a guy who uses whatever he has on hand to get himself out of bad situations. In this one, he makes night vision glasses to see in the dark. And I needed to know if this actually worked. So I took down a security camera, found a TV remote, some medical tape, an LED screen, and glasses. I removed the infrared filter and took out the LED light array, just like MacGyver did in the show. And now it was time to test it out. So I turned off all the lights 
And with my new night vision glasses, I could see in the dark. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. I can sit next to Jacob. I'm good. Scooch. Scooch your boots. Scooch your boots. I'm sorry, your license is invalid. Metro T1 checking on you. Says you weigh 135. <laughs> <laughs> Credit card scammer really wanted me to say yes. Is that a yes? It is. That's a yes, sir? It is. You don't have to call me, sir. Okay. What's the email? Bink mail. That's my business. I'm a competitive Fortnite player. Is that a yes, sir? It is. You don't have to call me, sir. Is that a yes? Yeah. Are, are you saying yeah or yes? Are you authorized? I am authorized to use this card. Is that a yes? It is. Sir, I don't need, is it a yes or is it a yes or is it a, I need a clear yes or no. Are you authorized to use your Affirmative. I can confirm it is a positive in the affirmative, meaning that I do indeed have affirmation from my mother that I may use her yeah, credit card to make whatever purchase I am required to make. Ma'am. Okay, but is that a yes or no? It's not a no. Yes. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry, it was lagging. Uh, what's your favorite position? My favorite position? Yeah. Like, what do you suggest? Uh, Mish... Cow... Cowgirl. What? Cowgirl. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's not a position. I'm filling out the application for the salon. You mean the shampoo? The, the oh, a job what position. Oh, okay. Not a cowgirl. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, maybe perhaps front desk seems nice, seems lovely. I built these big Lego bricks out of small Lego bricks and they all do something a little different. This one's got a little man living inside of it. This one is literally magic. You open it up, you see the ocean, shake it up, shake the pieces around. Now it has space in there. And this one is actually just disguised as a Lego brick to lull you into a false sense of security so that it can eat you. You're dropping random pics to strangers on the plane cause I'm bored. I'm about to expose the man. Whenever you ask a man's height, he'll add an inch. So if he's six foot, he'll say he's six one. If he's six two, he'll say he's six three. Not me though. I subtract four. I say I'm 5'9", especially when there's other men in the room. And then I just watch them panic. Not only have you exposed his lie, but now he thinks he's 5'3". What I do is not a crime, but it should be. I was so student I like teaching like and I still can't believe I did this. see an enemy and they're, it's a symbiotic relationship. So it's obviously when two organisms, so orgasm, orga, orgas, organisms, sorry, when two org, organisms, I don't know what happened there, guys. Um, Why have I never thought of this before? Hey, Vector. We're watching a movie. All right. You ready, bud? Mm. 
People say you look like this guy, bud. What do you think? Do you see the resemblance? Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, wait. You could be brothers. <laughs> bud, should we get you an Eva? You liked it, bud? <laughs> we'll have to watch it again. Tell me about a time that you got fired from your job for an actual good reason. First of all, profit. Second of all, not a good reason. So I got a fire from a company, not gonna name the company or anything, um, but it was Starbucks. And here's my separation notice, just in case you don't believe me. But I made a TikTok and it was really funny. Everyone liked it except for fucking Emily in Northern Indiana, who was like, this is not okay. This is bad for our company and then whatever. And apparently that TikTok fucking killed like millions of kids in Africa and started World War fucking three. So then I had to get fired, which just shows that you're just another number at Starbucks, even though I was partner of the quarter. But that doesn't really matter because whatever reason. But anyway, don't go to Starbucks and the TikTok's on my page. So please go watch it. This hot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I said no whipped cream. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Cream? Um, I wanted extra whipped cream. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> that looks better. What's up? You know you're the only guy I talk to, right? Oh, that would be really sweet if it wasn't a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're the only guy I talk to, right? Really? Yeah. I always knew you had a crush on me, so... Ah! <laughs> What's up? You know you're the only guy I talk to, right? You're such a nerd. <laughs> you know you're the only guy I talk to, right? Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, dang, I'm really honored for this. Like, <laughs> this is amazing. You know you're the only guy I talk to, right? Hey, what's up? I'm making dinner. You know you're the only guy I talk to, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, it was for a TikTok. I'm really sorry. <laughs> no. Now look at this. Now look at this. <laughs> I snapped random people and acted Never. like I know them. Look at their responses. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing tussy slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quality. <laughs> let me know when you're ready. Oh, I will no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Really? 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 Really personal. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Is it, am I doing it right? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh, it's hot. His, it, oh. Mustache. Didn't it, you said it was gonna be warm. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me when? <laughs> Are you gonna tell me when? <laughs> One. <laughs> Joey, can you please look at your hair? Or no. <laughs> Why is there a long one? I thought you were gonna yell much more. Give me uh, your hand. The pain is way more than yelling. <laughs> Get this off of me. What? <laughs> no, stop. He, he's getting in the stance. No, I, I... <laughs> 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 Does she take off my nose? <laughs> like a chunk of. Alright, so this guy asked me to DM his girl because he thought she was playing games. I asked for her at and told him to unfollow me because I didn't want her to think something was up. He gave me her at and I got to work. I DM'd her on some casual shit. I said, where are you from? She said, where are you from? I said, I asked you first. She said, I asked you second.
She was being mad childish, and if I wanted to get with her for real, I would have ended the conversation right there because I don't have time for that bullshit. But I was doing this for a cause, so I continued the conversation. I told her, okay, you win. I'm from Virginia. What about you? She said, I always win. I said, so I don't get an answer? She said, nah, you look like you're used to getting what you want. I said, so if I wanted your snap, I'm guessing that would be a no-go. She said, aw, aren't you a quick learner? I knew I was getting curved, but I wanted to get her to mention her boyfriend just for his peace of mind. I said, damn, you're blocking the shit out of my shot. Do you have a boyfriend or something? She said, have you ever considered maybe you're not everyone's type? I said, no. <laughs> she said, you're funny. I actually do have a boyfriend and he treats me well. I have a friend I think you'd be perfect for though. Hey, I guess she passed the test. Psychological tricks to mess with someone's head, part one. Let's say that you are talking to someone. If you interrupt them and say walk with me in a busy tone and start walking away, they will start walking with you and continue the conversation. Now you can lead them really anywhere you want. Immediately after your friend looks at the time, ask them if they know what time is it. Chances are that they will have to look at the time again. Look distractedly on someone's nose or some other part of their face, and then scratch the same part of your own face. They will get confused and probably think that they have something on them and start scratching as well. Uh, Alright, Roy, go ahead and put your blindfold on. Okay. Alright, blindfold is on. Alright, let's go. Okay, we do not have a lot to work with here, Roy. Uh, what are we seeing? A lot uh, of grass. Okay, do you see anything else? Any... Some trees? Okay, stop. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? What color is the grass and the trees? I mean, it's grass and trees, so they're green. Okay, hear me out. I have a read here. What? All right, so Jake, listen carefully. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go way above Canada near the Arctic Circle. And there should be a small lake. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place the marker somewhere above the lake. I have a very strong read that it's going to okay. be around that area. Okay, are you sure you want me to lock in here? Yep, I'm positive. Go ahead and uh, drop it right there. Nani? How is that even possible? Are you kidding me? How'd I do? 4,978. Let's go, baby! Not only am I going to do more, but I'm going to try to go buy a card today. Because you know this card has a big spending limit. Let's go. You got that big spending limit. Hey, I was wondering if I could touch on the Mercedes GLA. The GLA? Yeah. Yeah, we could probably make that happen for yeah. you. Um, I'm gonna put you in touch with my man Marshall here. Mercedes GLA. What is that? This is my wallet. Huh? This is my wallet. That's your wallet? Yeah. You got your driver's license? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Are you, you serious? Have a very contagious laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually really serious. Yeah, man, and I'm here to buy a car today, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's gather some quick iron. I think my soil's running out of it. Awesome. I know I had one in here somewhere. There we go. This has been in my car for like years. This is supposed to be satisfying or something. Whoa. Okay, maybe. They literally use slime for this stuff. Anyways, let's mix it. Okay, so now let's use this stronger magnet. Oh. Hey, no, no, not you. Renegade, renegade, renegade. I'm obsessed. My neighbors probably think I'm crazy. Do you know your handwriting can tell if you are smart or not? Apparently, if you have bad handwriting, that means you are smart and your brain works faster than your hands. Being a Brit in America. Hey, could you pass me that, please? Yeah. Here you go. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah. I, I said thank you. Yeah, I... I heard you the first time. I'm uh, sorry, I, I just thought you said, yep. I did. Oh. Bit rude, don't you think? Is it? No, it's fine. Most people respond with, you're welcome, or no problem. Do you know what I mean? Oh, well, thank you for educating me. You're welcome. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> yep. FaceTime is digitally modifying your face and you probably didn't even know it. Like, 
they changed your settings. Go into your settings and then you'll see this at the very bottom. It's called eye contact and it's turned on. All this really does is make your eyes look a little bit larger so that it makes it seem to the other person that you're looking at the camera versus the screen. So to all the people who thought they were crazy for thinking their face looked different, you were right. I can't take it off. I can't take it off. Like, take it off. I can't. Take it off. I can't take it off. Like, Races be like, Asians are so small they can't even see. <laughs> False. I'll let you know my eyesight is perfectly fine. Matter of fact, I think I can see better than you. Open the door or I'm going to throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. Hey, I was wondering. Hey, do you have a mask you can wear? Yeah. I was wondering if like, I could get a new phone here and I didn't really know how that all worked. Yeah. So, like, what all do I need to do to get Man, a new phone? Man, have you ever heard of COVID? Excuse me, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? No, sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. Too busy? Too busy to talk about the man who died on the cross for all... 1,262,400 of your sins? Wait a second. Are you... are you Jesus? <laughs> oh, my father, what gave me away? I don't know, I just got a tingly feeling. Wait... So was this a test? Yes, yes it was. So did I fail it? Yes, horribly. What does this mean? Am I gonna go to hell when I die? You died this morning. What? How? Rock climbing accident. I don't rock climb. Yeah, you were... You don't? No! What are you looking at? Keep this between us, will ya? Excuse me, do you have time to talk about our Lord? Time to take a huge dump, here we go. Oh, got a black widow spider there, just scoot him over. Few more friends over here, scoot them over, get out of here. Oh, got a snake on the toilet, throw him in the shower, no big deal. And here we go, oh. Bro, I hate the way that the media portrays black families. Like, look at this. Black people do not have that type of dog. That's so crazy. They also don't have fathers. <laughs> in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, we see that Captain America keeps a list of things to catch up on after the past 70 years and in that list we see that he wrote down star wars and what looks like to be a line through it which means that he's already seen it he must have been so confused after seeing those movies i'm just trying to watch my stat lecture and this happens in the first special. 10 minutes if you look at the x-axis what do you see the dates are in order yeah dates are not in order oh, i love you kermit hello What's a video that lives in your head rent free? I bet you 10 bucks you can't draw a circle on this piece of paper with a circle inside it, except when you do it, you can't have the pen leave the page. It has to be touching the whole time. Yeah, you know, you see, you, you can't draw a line, a circle out inside the circle without leaving the page. Wait, no, you, I said the pen can't, you can't do that though. That's the whole thing you can't do, I just. I can't wait to see what history tests are gonna look like in 50 years. Which of the following 2016 events is responsible for the downfall of humanity? A. Dat boy. B. The 2016 election. C. The death of a gorilla in the Cincinnati Zoo. Or D. The release of a Pokemon mobile game? Ouch, sorry. You just got my finger on your jawline. <laughs> Try cutting your wrist next time. The curls. Yes, perfect. I think they're perfect too. Glad we're on the same page. Is that page number 69? 
Because that's the only page I want to be on. Hey. Then I sent her a picture of another girl's DM saying she did better. Step it up. I never said I was a nice guy. But I... The next words are yes, sir. Or have you forgotten? Yes, sir. <laughs> Good. Now ass up, baby girl. Oh my god, it is so easy to speak Spanish. Really? Yeah. All you have to do is take an English word and put an O on the end of it. Like what? Like perfect, perfecto. Modern, moderno. Correct, correcto. Cool? Coolo. Bro, women aren't funny. <laughs> Tell me a joke then. Holy shit. What does a cow sound like going at a hundred miles an hour? <laughs> okay, my friend, I can totally give you solid reasons why people don't like Captain Marvel. She is presented as the hero we've all been waiting for, but yet none of us were asking for. She has no history in the MCU for us to actually care about or feel attached to or have an emotional standing on. She has zero chemistry with most of these cast members, and that's mainly because they don't really like her in real life. She's hyped up so much and barely does anything in an endgame. High key, anyone can make an argument to say that she's not even needed in this movie at all. Okay, yeah, sure, she brought Tony back from space. But it's later revealed that Tony Ship was sending out a beacon to find him. That being said, Thor has the ability to open up a Bifrost and he could have teleported him instantly. Her excuse for not being on Earth is that this event was happening everywhere, so if it was happening everywhere, why would you not be on Earth where the epicenter of the attack started? Plus, just your home planet with the very hero trying to fix the issue, maybe you want to be a part of the planning? All of her scenes when she's not talking shit just consist of her flying through stuff. Okay, yeah, she blew up the ship. Bro, if they didn't nerf the other heroes or have them distracted by BS, they could have had a plan for that ship. She used to have a Hulk that wasn't afraid to run hands with mythical gods. But then we got this trash. Sarah! Sarah was finally home. Kaya was very happy to see her. Kaya! Ni hao! What? Here are some things that are way bigger than they actually seem. Firstly, you see this giant hole compared to this whole city? Well, that's actually a diamond mine. I would have never guessed it was that big. Now just imagine having to go down there. Next, I was really never scared of turtles until now. This is how big a snapping turtle can actually get. But now just imagine if this turtle got a hold of you. So this is what it looks like when a regular person holds a water bottle, right? Well, this is what it looks like when Shaquille O'Neal holds a water bottle. He is a seven foot human, but look how small he makes the water bottle look. Now, this is the size of Pluto compared to Australia, but I really thought Pluto was much bigger than that. Alright, so this is what sunfish actually look like when they are born. They're so tiny, right? But when they have fully grown up, this is how big they actually get. Look at the sunfish compared to the human. This is how big a turbine wing actually is, but this is what a tornado looks like to the whole wind turbine. Yep, you're pregnant. Who? Not me! Because <laughs> I'm gonna get an abortion. Your daughter has a prolapsed anus. It's not funny. It's not you know you can't laugh off screen in real life, right? I want a divorce. Not that. See, I wasn't on straight TikTok, so I dress Harry Styles Jr. here in alternative clothing, like lingerie. Can you please stop dancing? Once again, I'm here to arrest you for 14 counts of tax evasion. Babe, can I have a wing? No. Thank you. Babe, hey, mm. these wings are busting. Right. Can I have all of them? What? Can I have them all? All of them? Yeah. Can I have them all? Okay. Thank you. Wait, let me get them all right. Okay, here. Thank you, babe. We were getting ready in the bathroom until. <laughs>
having me on that sweet shit. You got my heart, got my mind. I think about you all the time. You shoot my blood pressure through the sky. Hello, my name is Dylan, and this is part one of me rating DMs I've got. I don't actually talk like that. First up, oh, first of all, I don't know if it's bad to show the person that sent it, but I'm doing it anyway. This person said, hey, Bessie, we're Bessie now. I like this one. I give it a 8 out of 10 because, of course, I want to be your friend. Next up, I feel like you probably give really good hugs, and that's pretty cool. Hope you had a great day. Um, I don't know if my hugs are good or not, but I give this one 9 out of 10 because that's a really good compliment, and I hope you had a great day, too. I'm giving this one 11 out of 10 because this girl is really nice. Her name is Paige, which is a cool name, and yeah love you next up we have hi you know i'd like a good hi hello five out of ten this one automatically gets like a two out of ten because this is like an overused pickup line hey you look familiar i figured out you're my future girlfriend yeah you need to find a new one but i still love you this one says you're cute that's all i had to say thank you